Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to take this picture of an elk in the forest and make it into a kind of snowy Christmassy scene. So let's start off. I'll just do a Control J to duplicate the layer. And uh, now we want to select the elk because largely we're going to make everything else pretty white. But we want more of the elk to be kind of be made, you know, a slightly different. So what we'll do is go to the selection brush, make sure we've got snap to edges and soft edges, and then start selecting this. Actually, what's, this is going to take a while because I need to get down these various bits where it's sort of in the grass, etc. So this is not a, a piece on selection, so I'm going to skip forward from here. Right, so here we are. We've got this selected and we're going to create a mask. So all we need to do is click on the mask layer there and we have a mask on this. Hit Control D, don't need that anymore because it's included in the mask. If we turn off the bottom layer we can see we've selected the elk separately. So what we can do is start making the bottom layer a bit snowier. And first thing that is to go to adjustments here and black and white. And that makes this a bit black and white, but to retain a bit of colour, I'm going to change the blend mode to screen. So you can see it's lighter, but there is some colour in there. And then we just turning, start turning things up here. And because this is all underneath the elk, the elk stays the same whilst we turn down the things there. So there's a lot of yellow in foliage, so you can see already this is looking a lot snowier here. Sometimes you might want to back off a little bit just to keep some sort of detail in there. And turn up the greens. See there's just a little bit of green there. Adds just some colour. So and you can see each one you turn it with it up and down you can see where it's affecting it. And even a bit of blue in there. Yeah we'll lighten that up. OK, so there we got that getting snowier there. And we'll add a bit more haze to this. So a way to do this is to add a pixel layer, then go to the gradient tool here and paint from white downwards here to black. So just in sort of basically this is hazing off into the distance. And this is from white to black and we can always change it up here if you want to, if it's not in the right amount or the right colours. So, but now for this to blend it in, we're going to go to screen again. And doing the same at the bottom, so another pixel layer here. So we're going to make this, the foreground, kind of snowier. And to do that, Again, a gradient going from kind of up here, but it's a bit horizontal. And again, we go to the blend mode of screen. So you can see this is forcing this a lot more to look like snow further down here. Actually, we don't need it going quite so much up there, so we can actually include that in a crop. So overall, I'm going to come in from here to get past that tree there, bring this down. They don't need quite so much of the background, but we'll keep that bush in here because the elk is looking in this direction. And so the background's kind of fading off. It doesn't go all the way to white there, which actually that's, that's quite okay. So I'll apply that. But now we want to do something with this elk here. What we're going to do here, I'm going to click on here, shift click here, control G to group it. And just call that background because that's what that actually is. And this one, I'm going to hit Control G as well and just call this one Elk. And then within here, we've got this masked out, but we're going to put a little bit in here just to control this. So I'll put in an adjustment there, just HSL, and bring down the saturation. So it makes this cooler and 
just you know as you might expect a little bit was kind of whiter in there in the snow but we, it retains the blacks which is just fine so in there as well i'm going to put a little bit more snow on top of this elk so to do that i'm going to put in a new pixel layer here i want myself a brush now to paint with so i go to the brushes tab here go to the basic go down to the where's the textures there it is and the top one here and get a paintbrush and paint in where is it color paint in white I'm going to paint along here so make this a bit smaller here or put it in here opacity 100% yeah flow we can turn that up hardness about 80% that'll do and now if I just going to put like some settled snow kind of along the top of the antlers like that just bits so it looks like it's in there just the areas you might expect to see it just because this is a separate layer we can always pull it back if we let's undo that I'll try that one again there we go what's happening with this paintbrush by the way if I go to more here and go to dynamics there's a lot of these which are jitter which means it jiggles around a bit so you can see as it, ro it rotates you can actually increase these to change the amount of bounce and size change and so on within this but this is kind of good enough here to do this you can change the size of a brush a bit if you like to get layers like that and make a little bit up here so you can see this is kind of looking a lot snowier now i'm doing this just with a mouse it's always easier with another one no no make it bigger but i'm also going to reduce the opacity down here to around about 20 percent and just paint into here so that it sort of just adds blotchy bits so so if i go into there it looks like it's you know maybe there's a bit of frost in there there we go just a little bit chillier look to it so what we're going to do now we can close that up there's the elk and here's the background we're going to add another lot on top which is going to be the snow so we will make it snow and remember you can always go back and change this because a lot of this is is uh you know obviously changeable so we're going to put a pixel layer above here and in the there a uh, common way to do this is to use use uh, noise but we're going to use Perlin noise which is under filters noise Perlin noise and we get this effect here we can see change the size of things like this and octaves doesn't change too much and persistence makes that a little bit whiter there but what we're going to do is pick some snow out of this so we apply that and then going to go to the adjustments there and levels and what i'm going to do with this is this see here's where all the light is in the middle we're going to play around with this put up the black a bit but bring down the whites to make everything lighter and as that gets closer there you can see i've now got black bits maybe i'll push it up the other side there because i want to get white bits there we go so there is the basis for our snow and if i pull it together there's smaller amounts there if i make it higher push up higher see i've got less smaller bits there so maybe that's better so there we go and then i'm going to put on top of that i'm going to put some motion blur so i go to live filters and motion blur turn up the radius 
and it'll start to move a bit. Here it's horizontal, so I'll turn it down here down to 45 degrees like that. Maybe that's okay. There we go, and we're going to shift click to select all of those, then control G to group to group it, and we'll call that snow. And change the blend mode of that whole thing to screen. So there we go. We've got some snow happening there. We can always duplicate this. Control J to duplicate it. Go in and change the the where the pixel is here, which is the snow layer. So do some more purling noise, but change this a bit. And a way we can see this, if I turn off the bottom layers, so I've just got this one here. So now I can change what this looks like. There we go, something like this. There we go, that's a, just a little bit of change. Maybe come out a bit so it's smaller bits, so it looks a bit more distant. There we go, just apply that. And then go to the levels. Here we can change this, maybe make, it, make it, let's just go, go back a bit. So we've got here, and when it gets closer together, so they get it whiter. That's a bit much, so let's go up here. And that'll do, and then try the motion blur. This snaps around, could be useful to give it a different position. But if I hold down the shift key, then I can move it a little bit at a time. So it's a slightly different direction, so it'll give it more variation. And then bring the others back. Here we go. So if I turn that layer off and on, see that gives it a bit of a more snowier picture. And anyway, that's our final picture with the elk in the snow. We could do more work on it, but it's fairly quick to do. And uh, tell you what we'll do, we'll do one more thing, we'll put in some text. So I'll go click here, drag here to increase the size of the text, then type happy, happy Christmas. Then the move tool and move it to a position we like. Maybe just increase the play with the size of it there. And to make it look a little bit fancier, we'll go down to the FX here. Click on that and we'll go to Outer Shadow, click on that and turn up the radius. There we go. As you can see the background there, just bringing it off the, the page a bit. There we go. And we'll do an inner shadow as well. And simply turn up the radius. You can see it adds a little bit of shadow inside here as well. So you get kind of a more professional look to it. So and then finally just a little bit more movement here. Bring this out a bit and fit it in there so we could print that even as a Christmas card. That's it anyway and thank you very much for watching.